And as the FAA is investigating a medical helicopter crash that left four people dead Friday night, the helicopter with three crew members and a patient aboard went down near the town of Mosby, about 20 miles northeast of Kansas City in Clay County. The victims have just been identified late this afternoon. 47-year-old Randy Bever from Savannah was the flight nurse. 36-year-old Chris Frakes, also from Savannah, was working as a paramedic. And the pilot was 34-year-old James Frudenberg of South Dakota. The patient has been identified is 58-year-old Terry Takakronte. The National Transportation Safety Board is currently looking into what might have caused that crash. Lisa Benson begins our team coverage tonight on this tragic story from Mosby. NTSB investigators have been out here all day long, and they will be out here for the rest of the evening investigating the wreckage, trying to figure out exactly what caused this crash. They are looking for answers. Tomorrow, the wreckage will be taken to Ottawa, Kansas for further inspection. Investigators have not determined what caused the Friday evening crash that killed four people in this rural Clay County field. The LifeNet helicopter pilot was trying to stop at the Mosby Airport for gas when he crashed in this field. Well, we're trying to determine that, and that's why we're looking at the uh, crash signatures uh, so carefully, uh, trying to de determine exactly uh, what uh, type of landing they're trying to, uh, trying to make. Investigators say it could take up to 12 months to determine what caused this crash, but they tell me a lack of fuel could have been the problem. In Mosby, Lisa Benson, NBC Action News.